But no one told me. No one told me. No one told me. I'm staying here. Now, you want to arrest me like Charles Oakley? Fuck, fuck that. Come on. Or will you arrest me like, no, shut your hand on my back like Oakley? All right, salute to Knicks Nation. CP from Knicks Fan TV here. If you're a diehard Knicks fan who loves to talk about Knicks news, Knicks rumors, and post-game live analysis featuring live callers, smash that subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Here we go again. It's never a dull moment at Madison Square Garden. You know, last night after I heard about the Spike Lee fiasco, we didn't even touch on it during the post-game show because we wanted to sweep it under the rug. It seemed like it was a non-issue. Yes, we had heard that Spike had gotten into it with MSG security over the proper entry point to get into the game. We later saw that Spike was in his seats at courtside, so we figured that it was a non-issue. We then heard that Dolan and Spike had patch things up after the game or during halftime what have you so again we didn't really think it was a big deal this morning i wake up to see a notification from espn that spike lee was going to be a guest on espn's first take and the first thought i had was this is a terrible terrible idea and what escalated from there was just a mountain of garbage why do you think the policy changed at least towards you I'm being, I'm, I'm, being harassed, I'm being harassed by James Dole. I don't know why. Let me ask, what about the press release did you object to that made you say, what did the press release say that you said that's not true? That me and him, after, after he came to me, just, you know, at halftime he leaves, and he always right. walks across the court, and it's a direct right where I'm sitting. He, and the press release says that we shook hands and we were laughing. They actually said this is was, what it was, says. A Knicks spokesman said that it was untrue, that it was simply an issue of Lee using the wrong entrance. How is the and wrong that you could entrance if no one tells them they come to the same entrance at for 28 years? Yeah, I just want to make sure that smiling. we have no, that on the that's a lie. So they made that up. They made, it, it's garden spin. I, I wasn't shaking his hands. In fact, when he came over me, I didn't get up right away. I, so, I, just, I, was, so, I was sitting in my so suit. My, he had Spike Lee on first take talking about the whole situation. He's embarrassed. He's angry. He's disappointed. Uh, you know, he's done with the Knicks. He's not going back this season for the rest of the year. You know, he spends upwards of $300,000 every year on season tickets. The Knicks never told him about this change. He claims that James Dolan is harassing him. All this drama all this drama he claims that the garden lied about them patching things up and shaking hands then you have the Knicks PR team later releasing a statement calling Spike's comments laughable showing evidence of him and James Dolan shaking hands at halftime to patch things up and explaining that Spike is more than welcome to use the VIP entrance or the general admission entrance he can no longer use the employee entrance Spike later claps back in a Daily News phone interview saying what's laughable is that the Knicks are the laughing stock of the league. Now, to be honest with you guys, this is rich people problems. I don't care who's right or who's wrong in this situation. To me, both sides are at fault for this. What matters to me and why this matters for the Knicks is this is once again another black eye on the brand. Where was the branding consultant Steve Stout when all of this was going on? He claimed on his interview with First Take that he was going to have a voice at the table and he was going to have James Dolan's ear. Where was he when the Knicks PR came out with this statement? that was unbecoming of a professional franchise this is not what you want to do no matter how wrong spike lee was in this situation this is not what you want to put out there in the public as a public spat against you the number one fan of this franchise that has been supporting this team since the championship days this is not the way we want to go, people. The Knicks needed to take the high road, and this is yet again another stain on the brand. Think about everything that's happened over the course of just this season, and it's not even over yet. You had the fiasco of free agency. You had the, the team doing poorly and Steve Mills and Scott Perry coming out on a press conference and throwing David Fisdale on the bus, essentially throwing him on the clock 
towards termination. You have Fizdale ultimately terminated, followed by Steve Mills being terminated. Then you have Steve Stout on first take, essentially throwing interim coach Mike Miller under the bus about how the Knicks are going to be looking for a new coach that's going to properly develop these players. All of these things just cr creates and adds to the negative perception of the brand, and it's just not needed. Here we are, just 24 hours prior talking about the sensational play of our young prospect RJ Barrett and then the whole day is consumed with negativity, drama and more piling on to the brand. So the Knicks are just not doing themselves any favors by adding more fuel to the fire. Like I said, they should have just taken the high road. I truly believe that both sides are at fault. Spike is at fault. James Dolan is at fault. This is rich people problems. It's not a matter of who's right or who's wrong. It's about displaying stability and leadership when it comes to the orange and blue. We have to show the world that we are a competently run franchise. I can't help but think that this impacts the way players think about the Knicks. You already heard that Katie mentioned that the brand isn't cool anymore. Okay, forget about Katie. Now, we all know, I told you guys this, that Anthony Davis definitely wanted to be a Nick. But I can't help but think that this impacts the brand and this is just not a good look the knicks need to focus on winning i've been saying this to you guys since the beginning of the year we need to let the product on the court show and tell that's it stay out of the media stay stay away from the pr statements take the high road and just show that the orange and blue can be a competently run franchise unfortunately right now we just continue to trip over our own feet and it's just a terrible look for the franchise i don't think spike should have ever taken that first take interview but listen this is egos this is egos man you, you can't prevent things like that but the garden should have been smarter and should have taken the high road and not let this get into a war of words because here we are again back in the mud so let's focus on winning man let's focus on the young core rj barrett mitchell robinson let's enjoy what these guys are doing for these next 20 games to close out the season we have frank nilakina stepping it up maybe kevin knox is going to take another leap let's continue to focus on the young guys support mike miller the interim coach right now support what leon rose is going to be looking to do in the off season and stay out of the media with the mudslinging man it's just not a good look so that's all I wanted to say, man. I want to keep it short and brief on this topic. Let me know what you think about it and uh, leave it in the comments below. As usual, like, share, subscribe, and support the movement. I appreciate you guys, man. I'm out of here. Peace.